And it stayed there. I think it was. I think it was observed <laughs> by Reagan and by George Bush and by Clinton. Uh, we were I think it was observed until then. But then the whole, the whole thing changes. President Bush, the father, looks pretty rough. Well, he has been near death, and he came back well enough to, to be, to be there yesterday, the other day, which is was very good. Yes. But you're the same age, aren't you? He's uh, six months older than that. Yeah, looks better shape. You're in much better shape. Well, he was my favorite president. He and Jim Baker together were very intimate. They were sort of seven. Yes. And I would say the other president kind of uh, didn't cooperate with the Carter Center because of, they thought we were intruding on their territory or some reason. But, but, uh, Bush Sr. and Jim Baker called on me specifically to, to go into areas where he couldn't go officially. And this was a great advantage of Okay, just make sure. Yeah, we still do that. And we've always done it. But, but he, he's the only one that ever reached out to us. And when I would go to an interesting place, like to Syria or, or to Chile or somewhere, or to Nicaragua. Uh, he would invite me to come to the White House and give him a personal report on my trip. And on one, on two occasions, he sent uh, an official plane to pick me up and bring me to the White House, just to save his family. So he, they were very gracious. Did you get invited to Mrs. Thatcher's funeral? No, you didn't get invited. Maybe because you called her overbearing in your White House diaries? I didn't when she came over before she was so prime she minister, she knew more about America than I did or anybody else in America. Did. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I got along well with her when she was in Canada. No, she had a similar view of Canada. Let me tell you, she uh, not a Trudeau fan. I mean, she was a fan of Trudeau, and she she uh, there was a period in the 1980s when Canada repatriated.